Congress will likely have the final say in an Iowa House race. The official results say Republican Marionette Miller Meeks edged out Democratic challenger Rita Hart. The state certified those results after a district wide recount, but Hart isn't accepting defeat. The way she's doing it is legal, but it's also unusual. Before the recount, Miller Meeks was ahead by 47 votes. At the end, her lead shrank to six votes. It's the closest congressional race in the nation. Hart's campaign says there are legal votes that haven't been counted. Miller Meeks' campaign says that's not the case. A Local 5's chief political correspondent, Rachel Droz, dug into why Hart's form of challenge is unique. On the rare occasion candidates choose to contest certified election results, they'll typically bring the matter to the courts. The most notable example of this, when the Supreme Court made the final decision in the 2000 presidential election. But there is another way for candidates to challenge results. Under federal law, Rita Hart can petition the House to contest the election results. Her campaign says she plans to do that. The deadline for her to file is December 30th. Miller Meeks will then have 30 days to respond to the filing. Then, the House Administration Committee will begin an investigation. Once the investigation ends, the committee will make recommendations in a report to the full House. The House can then choose to dismiss the challenge, meaning Miller Meeks would be seated, rule in favor of the challenger, meaning Hart would be seated, or declare no one is entitled to the seat and call for a new election. The House can prevent either candidate from being seated until after the investigation, which would leave a quarter of Iowa's population without representation in the House. The House needs a simple majority to vote on contested elections. Their decision is final and cannot be appealed. Rachel Droz, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. The Miller Meeks campaign says by skipping over a court appeal and going directly to the House of Representatives, the Hart campaign is politicizing the process. They want to challenge the results and overturn the results of this election uh, politically in the House of Representatives, essentially allowing a committee handpicked by Nancy Pelosi to decide who should represent Iowa's 2nd Congressional District instead of the voters. Local 5 reached out to the Hart campaign several times to set up an interview. We were unable to grant our request. Republican leaders, meanwhile, aren't pleased with Hart letting the D.C. establishment take over as they see it. More on that at weareiowa.com.